I'm reading from the book of Job, chapter 26, verse 6. Hell is naked before him, and destruction have no covering. I was working the afternoon shift. The President Jesus had me to listen to Apo's dreadful cries as he is cussing out Jesus Christ in Spanish, as he is suffering many torments and many woes in hell. Then all of a sudden, Jesus showed me a vision of Apo's soul and spirit. His force to stand up inside of the fiery dark pit. His wrists and ankles are in shackles, attached to the heavy chains that is bolted to the ground. The demons below him is on the ground, is using their long, high spikes to pierce Apple's soul and spirit. I heard the souls of the people that he killed in the dope game, and people that had ties with Apple in the dope game. And the addicts that died from Apple's drugs are in hell, cursing him day and night. Then the flesh of Apple's soul is slowly peeling off of his burnt bones while he is begging for mercy, but he receives none. And Jesus forced him to eat his flesh. And moments later, the soul of Apple's flesh grew back and continued to eat his flesh over and over until the judgment day that Jesus Christ will judge them and cast them into the lake of fire, prepared for Satan and his demons to be tormented forever. I heard demons yelling, Alpo, Alpo, Alpo. I heard dogs barking nonstop. He is scared. Then all of a sudden, I seen a demon transform into a muscular six, six feet tall rat before Alpo's eyes. He is terrified. The demon walk up to him. Many voices of people came out of the demon's body saying, Apple was a snitch, a rat, a cold-blooded murderer, and many hurtful true things they said about him. Jesus forced Apple to feel the heartache and pain of what the victim's family going through every day of their lives and some of the families blame Jesus Christ for what Apple did and lost their faith with Jesus forever. The demon is laughing at him. Then the demon put his hand inside of Apple's mouth. Then a hand came out of the demon's throat to grab Apple's tongue and rip it out of his mouth. The demon pulled it, his head out of Apple's mouth and spit the tongue on the ground. The demon ate Apple's soul and spirit alive and ate his bones. Then all of a sudden, the presence of Jesus forced the demon to vomit him out of his mouth. And moments later, Apple became whole again to continue to suffer many, many everlasting torments of hell. Jesus showed me which Porter's soul and spirit suffering many torments all at once in hell. Jesus showed me a demon impersonating rich little dead brother. It's telling him, it's your fault that I was tortured and killed. Uh, you should have gave our uncle the money and I will still be alive today. You are selfish, selfish, and I hate you. Rich Porter is overwhelmed with grief. The presence of Jesus, I mean the presence of Jesus, increased rich torments by the moment that were never in.